takeaways for myself this morning was the amazing presentation on the excise tax and uh, discussions going around on, on, on how that can be maybe perhaps altered or, or uh, uh, worked on to help some of our licensed producers and processors. Would you like to touch on just a little bit more of what was discussed this morning? Well, the excise, uh, the excise tax, of course, was originally characterized as a buck in 10, 10%. The, pro the study from E and Y, and it does vary by categories, but the study from E and Y demonstrating that the government take, uh, the combined take of government taxes and fees, very often three and sometimes four times greater than that 10% that was originally predicted. And the consequence of, uh, the consequence of that is to uh, make it in pretty near impossible for companies to be uh, successful and profitable. What we have is an environment where we have lots of sales, uh, but really the lion's share of uh, resources going to, the, going to the government. And over the time since legalization, we've seen, uh, you know, we've seen actually compression in the amount that licensed producers are getting for their, uh, getting for their products. Another feature that does come out of the work of Ernst & Young is to highlight the very, very extreme distribution level markups that occur at the provinces, which really should be characterized in the bucket of fees and taxes for government. So this is a challenge that we have, and the result of it is we're sawed off at around 50-50 with the illicit market in terms of business. It's in the interest of everybody that we find policy changes so that we can grow that, grow that business and help to achieve those public health objectives. Very well said. Last question, George, if you are, thank you. Um, what do we have to look forward to this afternoon? And I understand we're going to be getting briefed and prepared for, to, uh, for tomorrow's lobbying day. So if you could give us a little more information about that, that would be amazing. Yeah, I'm going to move up here on that sure. So um, George and I are going to host a session where we're going to engage uh, the conference delegates in a discussion, conversation uh, about um, our discussions about our uh, lobbying activity with uh, government officials and, uh, and groups uh, tomorrow. It's really going to be, in a sense, a boot camp to help people get prepared for talking to elected officials, talking to officials in ministers' offices about our industry, about some of the, uh, about the successes of cannabis legalization, the great things that have happened, about some of the challenges that our industry is facing, some very acute challenges that our industry is facing at the microeconomic level, and then really um, helping decision makers understand our five big asks uh, in support of change in the industry. And then the final piece, which really builds on the presentation we had from this morning, was on, um, on how Canadians are really comfortable with legal cannabis. I think that's one of the key messages we want to bring forth tomorrow when we talk to elected officials, is that Canadians, have, in a sense, are comfortable with legal cannabis and are comfortable with government supporting this industry. Um, we're going to follow up with the stakeholder session. George, maybe you can talk yep. a little about that one. Uh, two more things will happen uh, following the session here, and I do. we got a really, really lively uh, group of, uh, I'm going to say the usual, usual suspects in the sense that they're very, very high profile community leaders. Uh, are going to participate in a panel. I hope that that's actually going to demonstrate that across the landscape of the cannabis sector, there's quite a lot of commonality on these, uh, on some of these objectives for change. So I'm really looking forward to that. And at four o'clock, we have a visit from the Honorable Ahmed Hussain, the Minister of Housing and Minister Responsible for uh, Diversity and Inclusion. And we're going to have a very, very poignant presentation as part of that from Cannabis Amnesty, which is a community partner of C3. And they've got a really, really exciting new product that they're going to preview for all of us as we're quite aligned on working hard on the issue of helping Canadians to achieve pardons from their past history with uh, criminal charges related to cannabis. And that'll be it. People will go off and prepare for tomorrow's, uh, for tomorrow's many meetings across Parliament Hill. Well, thank you, George and Pierre. On behalf of High Canada and all of our readers, it's great to have the Cannabis Council of Canada uh, advocating for Canadians across the board. Thank you so well, much. We're pleased to be able to do it in partnership with uh, folks like you. Thank you very much. Awesome. Great.